Hello everybody and welcome to the semi-finals for the AABL. Um, and it's me versus Jack and the Los Angeles Lavatars, who is currently 10-0 in the regular season and obviously he's made it to the semi-finals as well, so he's still undefeated this season. He has a very good team, so it's not surprising. Um... Looking at what he has, uh, if he leads the Mamo Swine, I could lead my um, okay, let's refresh this. That's better. Uh, if I leave my comb O. What am I going to be doing to a ammo swine? Uh, what am I going to be taking from a ammo swine as well? Ammo swine might kill me, even with that HP investment. That's uh, pretty annoying. Um, I can always switch into my Silk Alley Water. Earthquake's still going to do a chunk there, but... Ugh. Why is Mamo Swine such a threat all the time? Um... Mule Tank could be the play as well, so... Anyway, I think I just try and get... Um, my Mega on Manetric, and see what he wants to lead with. Potentially. What do I like? Lead with Como and try and get my Stealth Rocks. Attack, plus one. I have a chance of killing the Mamo Swine. Um, but yeah, obviously he's got a scary team of the Mew, the Mamo Swine, the Rotom Heat, the Greninja, Tornadus, and um, Mega Scizor. I believe it's Mega Scizor. I can't really remember. I don't remember who has the Mega, who doesn't. I think he has the Mega, and it was uh, Ian who had the regular, something like that, maybe. Maybe it was the other way around. And I'm bringing Hooper, Ninetales, Minetric, uh, Silvalli, Miltank, and Como, so... Pretty cool team. Uh, maybe I'll leave, lead the Silvalli and just parting shot out on whatever. He doesn't really have a lot that touches Sil Valley Water. Um, maybe you just lead Nine Tails. And I could uh, get the Aurora Veil up straight up. I don't know if that seems like a best idea at the moment, but. All right. I think I think I'll just lead Como. I'll just lead Como as he leads the Rotom Heat. Okay, that's that's actually good for me. That's a uh, free Stealth Rocks. Um, he might try and burn me, but, I mean, that's okay. This is mainly here just to get some Stealth Rocks up. And I do have the Heal Bell on the Mill Tank, so that's not a huge deal. Uh, the way that he led with that, it's probably going to be a Scarf Volt Switch. 
Rotom as well. Could have the HP Ice. I do also have that Lumberry, so uh, it is Overcoat because uh, that um, Amoongus that Jack does have on his team is always uh, potentially a threat. So, what does he want to bring in here? Mew could come in and start trying to set up or something like that. Um, that's always going to be a threat to my... Um, Coma O here. Scizor could be Defog, Tornadus could be Defog, Mew could be Defog, and Rotom could be Defog, so I'm not sure which one will be the one, but um, I guess I go into Sylvalee, Parting Shot out into Manectric and start snarling on this thing. Potentially. Let's see, just, just go for the Psychic there. And now I just Parting Shot out. See what he wants to bring in here. So the Mew obviously has leftovers, so it's probably more of a bulky variant. Whoa, party sh uh, nice taunt there. That's that's pretty good for him. Unfortunately. That's kind of annoying. But that's okay. Let's just see how much damage we can do here. Plus 16, okay, cool. Um, in that case, I do think I switch into Manectric here. I do think I switch into Manectric. <laughs> um, I don't really want to take that extra. I don't want to take the extra psychic damage if I don't have to, but uh, I can't just parting shot out, unfortunately, because of that taunt. Taunt was a good bring, actually. It means I can't really bring the mill tank in here either, because it's a special elite, special attacker, and um, mill tank's only attacking move is the counter. So, and this will probably have U-turn. Um, so I can't bring the Hooper in on it either. There we go. 
He brings in the Mammoth Swan here, probably. Uh, no, okay, he brings in the Rotom Heat, okay. Mega Evolution. Bolt switch out into the Mill Tank. Though, this could be a free bring into. Uh, it could be a free defog as well, actually. Free Mammo Swan or free defog, either one. So it's not Scarf, it's Leftovers, obviously. And yeah, there we go, defog. Maybe Coma O would have been. would have been better. Um, but here I get a nice toxic off on something, unless he brings the scissor in. And that vault switch still do a lot. But yeah, this is more of a defensive wall, so... And that's a the slow slow volt switch as well, so but it's good we got the toxic on that. Excuse me, uh, what is Pomo taking from a defensive Mew Psychic? Not killing me, but once again, I'm not getting a ton of uh, damage off, even after plus one. I don't really have the right moves to be hitting that with. Cooper could come in and do a lot, but it's going to outspeed me, and it's got U-turn as we saw. I could live a U-turn after an Aurora Veil. Um, okay, so what's this? Is this thing going to want to do its sword stance here. Um, if it's not choice banded and it gets to plus two, that's going to kill me. I just go straight into Manetric here. I just go straight into Manetric here. Get that Intimidate. Okay, so we use the Mega. Ugh. Frustrating. I should have just counted. Um, because what? Sizzle, Mega. U-turn versus mill tank. It's only doing 26. Uh, actually, I mean, it could be max attack. No, it's not max attack. It would have been doing more to my... Okay, let's see. Volt switch out. Into let's let's go into Como and get my Stealth Rocks back up, I guess. 
And in comes Mew, actually. He's chipping down my team slowly but surely, unfortunately. Um, he's just got nice uh, momentum. Uh, like He's got the U-turn on the Mew. I'm assuming that the Greninja would probably have a U-turn. This has got um, the Bolt Switch. Tornadus will have U-turn most likely. And then um, Sizzle has got U-turn too. The only thing on his team that doesn't have that momentum um, the ability for the momentum is the uh, Mamos one. I'm just going to get some hail up here. I can't afford to... Mew's not going to be faster than my nine tails. I'm going to be able to get my... Going to be able to get my Aurora Veil up and then I can encore it into Taunt if it goes for that. It won't go for the taunt though. Um, but actually, I won't be able to encore into taunt because if it taunts me, I can't encore. But either way, um, I wish I had a good way of wish passing on this team, but I really don't. U turns out. Scizor can come in here. Mew with Aurora Veil would have been uh, pretty scary to deal with. I mean, not that it isn't annoying to deal with anyway. Um, I need to get my Stealth Rocks back up, and then I need to get Hooper in to do a Z Snatch. If I can. Stealth Rock's up. And Z Snatch and Hooper will start destroying his team. Hopefully. That's fine. I go into Como here. And this thing's just gonna keep taking toxic damage, thankfully. Uh, I mean, that's annoying that he did defog my veil away, but. Um, Like, I did know that that's something that i got to worry about. The, the Nine Towers can't really touch the Rotom, unfortunately. But I get my Stealth Rocks up here again. Um, and I can keep getting my Stealth Rocks up if he wants to keep defogging.
is going to toxic. So that's right, I've got my one berry. How much did that do? Uh, let's see. Um, come over, Rotom Heat, um, more of a defensive pivot. Drain Punch actually should kill here, so I'm just going to go for that. So that's his Defogger down. Uh, assuming that he doesn't have Defog on like the Mega Scizor or the Tornadus or the Mew as well, so he, he definitely still could. But that's actually really good for me. That puts me in a better position to keep my Aurora Veil up and to allow me to keep chipping his team. Um, which is really nice. I could bring in Tornadoes here and just Hurricane because I got that uh, evasion. Um, lowering unfortunately but has stopped. This team is still so threatening, but hopefully I've gotten rid of his removal option for this game. Yeah, okay, Tornado comes in, probably just chucks out a hurricane here. Um, I think it's just time that I just sack off the Sil Valley. I don't really need a defogger anymore, and all it is is the parting shot. So... He kills me here, I bring in Mega Manetric, I Volt Switch out. I mean, he could go into the Mamos one, but I don't know if he really wants that to take damage at this point. Um, probably brings in the Mew or the Scizor. Depending on what he brings in, I bring in the Alolan Ninetales or the Milk Tank, maybe. Um, Manetric versus Scizor. Mega. I don't know if it has sword stance yet. U turn does a chunk. And yeah, I go down. Okay, that's fine. I volt switch here. It went for the hurricane as well. Wow. 70% uh, chance to hit. Manetric versus Taunty. Old Switch would kill here if he stays in, or potentially kill here if he stays in, but he's not going to stay in. Uh, he potentially brings the Mamos one in. Which. Obviously isn't going to do. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the Volt Switch. Okay, he brings the Mew in. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's an Aurora Veil for me. Um, 
as he's soft boiled up. Okay, not surprising there, to be honest. Pour him into that. Let's see if he can waste a few of them or just. Uh... At least uh, make him waste some turns. Psychic taunt, U turn, and soft boil. Nice. Okay. That's good. I get to go into Hooper here. Um, Hooper versus Sizzle Mega with U turn. Under Aurora Vale, I'm still going to get murdicated. So. Maybe dragon dancing up with my coma O will be better. I unfortunately don't have fire punch on the Hooper. Anyway, I go into Como, I reckon. Just depends, is he going to try and stay in to burn this on or is he going to switch out here? I, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to switch out, but... What do I take from... Uh, you turn from... Tornadus. Under Aurora Vale, only 53%. Um, I think Manetric, and then I'll Volt Switch out. He might actually bring in the Mammoth one after that. Or on that at least. Oh, nasty Plot Nine Towers could have been pretty cool here, but uh, I mean that does let the Hooper come in. Getting a Toxic on the Mew from the Mill Tank would be nice as well, um, because I can Hillbell the Toxic back off myself. Alright, what's uh, uh, Mega Sizzle doing to my Manetric? It's not minus one, so. Punch isn't doing anything. I can just flamethrower here, I think. <coughs> Mew comes back in, okay. And here I just snarl. Like, what's this Mew want to do? Soft boiled again? He 
you can waste your soft boils if you want, but. I volt switch out now. Yeah, it's not always right on that damage, so I think it is pretty defensive. Lots of health there. Defensive, and then maybe specially defensive, a bit of special defense as well, but... It seems like it's doing right on the money for no special defense investment. I still got three turns of Aurora Veil, so I can alt switch out here. I could probably go into the Hooper. Or the Mill Tank and just throw another Toxic off. Um, they could let the Mega Sizzle come in, but it's not going to kill me behind Bale uh, with the... There we go. Okay, I'm going to bring the Mule Tank in, I think. As he does you turn out. What does he bring in here? Because that's a free Toxic for me. I can... Um... This thing probably has superpower. Okay, it brings the torn in. Um, a toxic. Alright, alright. Too much taunt, bud. <clears throat> Aurora Veil vale goes down now. Click that off. But I can vault switch out, go into Nine Towers again potentially. Mew comes in, that's okay, I just snarl again. I can just keep snarling this. He is wasting his soft boils. I could encore here, but he's just going to switch, I think. Get my Aurora Veil up. Yep. If only I had Rocky Helmet on this mill tank or something, that would be pretty cool, but... I don't think he goes for the bullet punch here, though. He's going to expect me to switch out. But, like, I can't really risk it either. I don't even have anything to hit this with, with the Nine Tails. Um... So Como it is. Wow, this thing does have the defog too, really. I 
mean, that's fine. He's gonna maybe expect me to get Stealth Rocks up again, but I'm just gonna Fire Punch. Come over, Mew. With that Psychic. Isn't gonna kill me. I'll just get my Stealth Rocks up again. Actually, will he be faster? No investment Mew. Won't be, but I could have some investment. I don't know if that was really the best taking that damage just to get my Stealth Rocks back up, but I mean, I'll take it. Ninja could be Choice Scarf quite easily. Uh, let's see. Calc. 377 times 1.5. 565.5. 283 times 2. I should outspeed that. I think I EB to outspeed that. Um, Scarf Greninja. He does Psychic, okay, uh, I Aurora Veil again. Get the special defense drop, unfortunately, uh, but that's okay. Oh, everything on my team is getting real low. Um, Versus the Mew. Defensive, the Psychic. With the Warval up. Yeah, I'm not going to live that. I need to try and get Hooper in for free, but like... It's tough. I think he's just going to Psychic again, or is he going to U-turn? He's probably U-turning. Soft boiled. Dang it. That would have been free for my Hooper, unfortunately. Uh, he's Psychic's here, maybe. Let's hope. Yes, okay. Uh, I just, I Z-snatch, that's all I can do at this point. He could U-turn out on me, but...
Hooper against the Mew. Is that full health though, which is pretty crap actually. Maybe I just Z Hyperspace Fury here. Get rid of this Mew and the rest of his team I can work around potentially. I needed some chip on this thing. Um, because, I mean, I think Mew has to U-turn here. Um, <coughs> I potentially just Hyperspace Fury at this point I don't do my Z move at all Muse minus one attack as well, right? Does he expect me to set up? That's the question. Because he, he knows he's going to be faster than me at the moment, but actually, he might not be. I can't remember if I was faster than him before. I think... Either way, I'm not going to be able to... I think I just Hyperspace Fury. I don't think this is the time for me to Z-Snatch, because I can't kill this Mew at the moment. you doing to Manetric at minus two behind Aurora Veil. I just chunk something. I think I just throw out a Hyperspace Fury. Uh, or I, I think I just throw out a Black Hole Eclipse and just 
chunk something. Rocks are here to stay. I don't get to Z snatch now though, which is unfortunate. Um, but you turn on anything else. I still got three turns of Veil. Greninja. Scarf Greninja probably. Drain Punch or Thunder Punch. Protein. It's just torrent. Do I expect him to go into the Mew here, expecting a Thunder Punch or a Drain Punch? I think I Thunder Punch. Because he does a U-turn, what's he going to? It's most likely a Scarf Greninja. goes into Tornadus, so that could be good. Kinda sucks. Shard Mamo Swine probably just comes in here. Uh, let's see. Mamo Swine. Well, that's Shard versus the Como. 26%. Scarf Ninja comes in, okay. He could go for the hurricane here, but it's a 50% chance to miss. Tornadus. This. Nine tails. It's, and it's the only way that he's really going to kill me with what he has. I don't know his last move, obviously, but... Um, I 
Does he go for the 50% chance Hurricane? Or does he just U turn out? This thing's just gonna keep getting health back. Alright, let's see. I guess I just moonblast here. turn shouldn't kill me. It goes into the Mew. Moonblast again. That's all I can do at this point, I think. I need Miltank to be healthy to try and hit that Mamo Swine. So much taunt, so much defog it. Uh, Kind of hurts, actually. And not having any priority kind of sucks as well when he's got things like the Scarf Greninja and the Tornadus, which is still just really fast in general. What does he think? Is he going to go the Soft World route here? He knows that he can just Soft World up on my Moonblast, but he might expect me to switch out here him keeping that Mew so healthy kind of uh, ruined any chances of me just sweeping with the Hooper Unfortunately. Moonblast is my best bet here though. If I can get a Moonblast off on that Greninja, like if he switches out. Um thinking I'm not going to stay in and he goes into I mean but a U-turn is kind of just free here I think he might soft boil though Scarf of my own would have been nice. And yeah, I thought it was going to be Scarf Greninja, so I, I probably should have saved my Z move uh, for when I could actually get it off um, well, but uh, that's just how it goes, I guess.
If I could get a dragon dance off on Komo. Uh, I I'm still not gonna be outspeeding Scarf Hoop obviously uh Scarf um Greninja obviously, but And he's probably does has that ice beam. Even if he's not protein. Still gonna kill me. I kind of need to get two dragon dancers off on Toma O, but that's it's not gonna happen. Um, I just Moonblast again. See what he wants to go into. Probably just goes into Greninja here. Because I think a Greninja Choice Scarf. Against my And I think it just cleans up here. I mean, obviously, if he goes into Mew, I go into Hooper and do what I can. Mew tank is my only way of winning against the Mamos one, really. I mean, I still have ways that I can play around this. Ninja comes in, I toxic. Got oh, hydro cannon or oh, uh, hydro pump pump hydro pump. That's what I mean. Fifty-two percent. If only I had protect, so I could uh, stall out some of those hydro pumps or something. What's that doing to my coma though? Twenty-one point two percent. Go off the miss. Yes, yes. Is he going to go for the Hydro Pump again or is he going to switch out?
Um, let's see, come over Mamo Swan. Did I see? Yeah, Sword Life Orb, I think. Says, oh, wait, no, never mind. No Life Orb. Um, Kamo is going to be quicker here. But Ice Shard's going to kill, unfortunately. Shard's not going to kill, so my Drain Punch likely is not going to kill either. Depending, yeah, no bulk, so it's definitely not here. Just needed to take a little bit more damage, unfortunately. might not have eye shard but it definitely will <laughs> there's no way it wouldn't <sighs> actually I should have should have seen that okay so it's So it, it outspeeds me. Um, let's see, Como. Yeah, it's just it's gonna die here no matter what. Ice shard. Mamo Swan is faster than Hooper, unfortunately. Ice shards here, I go down, and that's game, so yeah, there we go. Um, that's a great game, he played really well. He played around my Aurora Veil really well, double defog. Um, he didn't let me get set up at all, unfortunately, um, which sucks for me, but that's how it is, he just had so much momentum, there's nothing I could do with that, uh, he just, he played around the team that I had really well, so that's just how it is, and uh, thanks for watching guys, and um, yeah, that's my AABL season over, but um, I do have more draft leagues that I'm playing in, so we'll see you for them, peace.